if there's one place in the world where you can look out your train window and really appreciate geology, then it, it's Scotland. I mean, when you're in the central belt in the lowlands, you can stare out over those oil bings and coal fields and get a sense of the importance of geology to a kind of industrial heritage past. But then once you get into those hills, once you get up there into the highlands, you, a different kind of sensation comes through. You get a sense of the antiquity, really, of the landscape. Now, that ancient rock is coming to the surface. It's been scoured out by ice and by rivers, and it's creating these, these mammoth hills around. I mean, they, they seem like the Himalayas, but of course, they're only a thousand metres or so, but they're just beautiful mountains. And that's where you get a sense, really, of, of the fact that there's these lost worlds. Every one of those rocks came from a, a different time, maybe a time when Scotland was in the southern hemisphere or uh, you know, in, in the equatorial. I know it's hard to understand, hard to kind of think of it, but in an equatorial landscape. So it's a, those mountains that's outside the window is a story of Scotland's journey through time.